Uh, here we go. Highest points. Definitely one of the fucking highest points. This is base jumping city here. Do I want to base jump to the next place? Let's base jump to the next place. Having the helicopter is nice and all, but if I'm going to be doing this story mission over here anyways, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of whatever. I wish I could change my wingsuit color. What if I don't want my wingsuit to be yellow, black, white, and slightly blue? Oh shit. Alright, you got it. Do you see it? The transformative power of faith. The poor souls who struggle with doubt are brought here to be enlightened. It's beautiful, isn't it? No, it's pretty despicable. Drugging and torturing people. Bring them over to your viewpoint. Definitely one of the worst things you could do. Dude, I fucking wrecked him. Okay. Thanks. Now I feel bad for keeping that cult of beaten. I had to ask for the assist. I'm gonna set that cult packet. Uh, I don't know how to free you. You're kind of fucked. So where's the the priest coming from? Ah, over there. I hope you're ready, Rook. If our timing's right, that priestess is gonna arrive any second. Good, good, good. Here, have a, a remote explosive. Or, well, it's not really a remote explosive, but have a, a proxy explosive. And on the off chance you survive that, or it's not far enough, remote detonation. Alright. How many people are coming? It's just the one, actually. No, she's dead. Ah. Uh. Okay, how the hell do I save you? Cuz you're in a cage. You know you got too much bliss in your system. How the fuck? Can I just He's the only one remaining. Okay. Fine. Obviously, we need to the logical thing would be to bring him in closer via a crane control system. Now, where would I find a crane control system slash lever for this area? Whoops. Maybe up here? No, but we do got a note. Cult orders. I know this is hard. It hurt. It hurts to hurt. But we. Uh, but we're giving the unbelievers the last chance to tell us how to save our project, to save everything. They want to help! They just need pain to give them permission to portray the people they think are friends! Don't worry, the bliss will wash away your pain when you're finished serving the Father this way. With love, your priestess. Oof. The drugs. The drugs. Oh, here's the lover. It's at the blinking light. Now, that was the last hostage, right? Oh, wait, there's one to bl blow us! <laughs> we almost left him. People got a safe place thanks to you. Hey, 
down here. Got a second chance, thanks to you. Rook, Sheriff here. I got the word you killed that priestess. Sounds like you even managed to save some of our own. You got the cougars back here nice and fired up. Hell of a job, Rook. Hell of a job. Thanks, White Horse. Let me be the first to thank you, Rook. You managed to track down all our missing persons. I'm gonna have to stop calling you Rookie. It's no small deed. Outstanding job, Deputy. <laughs> He's acknowledged me as a full arm deputy. Everybody else has already been doing that, so it's kind of like, all right. <laughs> Thanks. Those who walk the path do so because it is their choice. Who are you to stop them? These pilgrims seek salvation. Do not interfere with them again. Lady, I'll do what I want, okay? You've been blessed. Oh, gosh. Oh, she's coming to give me a lesson, isn't he? This time, things are a little bit more immediately blissed out, so that's worrisome. Oh, she's- she's just abducting me this time. Welcome to the bliss. God! I don't care what you're trying to build. Hey! Or do you just not care? That's exactly it! I watch you run this way and that, inflicting violence on those who wish no harm upon you. What? They're at peace here. They want to be here. I know you have your doubts. This is the only way the story ends. Nothing you can do can change that. <laughs> Our friends on the sure. outside, they're controlled by fear. They don't understand. But he does. He'll show you. Hey, Marshall. Hey, Rook. <laughs> How you doing all right, buddy? Come on. Come on, it's okay. Yeah, sure, man. I'm getting your little paddle boat with you. Uh, I know you're here to take me back. It's okay. She knows. Everybody knows. You think you're doing the right thing. You think I need to be rescued. But I don't. I don't want to go back. <sighs> Ever. Look at the fucking uh, what? Oh my god, it's a hummingbird. Have you, have you ever stopped and looked at how your life's turned out? I mean, what you've actually done with it, you know? Sure, plenty of times. Um, we're told we can be anything, right? Uh, a uh, famous singer, um, Hall of Famer, movie star. We're all gonna be a success, Rook. But no, that's, that's just not true. We live mundane lives, just doing what someone else tells us to do, day after day. <clears throat> Everybody thinks they have free will, but Come on, when's the last time you did something that wasn't required? Demanded. Nah, Rook. We don't live our lives. We live theirs. And we think we have free will. But that is just a lie. An illusion. Huh. Oh, oh man. I am so done with that. I am done with being the yes man. I am done with being the errand boy. And I am done 
with being the garbage collector. I'm so done. You know, I want you to say these things when you're not high off your fucking mind and covered in butterflies. Because if that is real life, then what is the point? <laughs> this place gave me the chance to become something I thought I could never be. the only thing that really matters happiness yeah you know we let a lot of people drug themselves out and then bad shit happens to them and you know this bliss stuff the fucks with your mind you need to get the marshal Marshall, if you take too much bliss, it will literally fry your mind. Life isn't this happy. Don't let the marshal get through those gates. Burke, come on, man. I don't know you. You just kind of were you as marshal assisting in our get attempts. Rook, I'm going, but this isn't real. None of this is real. And if it's not real, then what's the point of being happy, right? No! You're doing great. Christ, Tracy, get that syringe over here! Oh, oh, calm down, calm down. First, look at me. Look at me. No, no drugs. Put your guns down. You just can't come out of the bliss clean. I, I can. I can. Sheriff. Sure. All right. Please. All right. No, 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 I'm not scrambled. All right. Stay away from me. All right. Just, just lay down. Stand down. You shouldn't have brought him here. Tracy. Fuck you, Tracy. I said this was a bad idea. I said it from the very beginning. You don't know her. How she digs inside your head. Don't trust him. You could... I, 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 I'll go talk to You could give him the drugs now. He's kind of laid back down. Can't really stop you anymore. I don't know if we got him back clean. We had the Jacob seed thing. And I kind of definitely didn't come back all right. So, in order to prevent a situation like that, we got to watch out. Believe you got the marshal out of the bliss. Faith won't let that slide. She's going to come back on you, kid. Hey, be ready. Well, I'll try. I like how fast we're going through this region. Even though we've really not- we haven't done much. Look at this, we have eight outposts in this area. And we've only done one of them. We've just all- we've just been over here. Jeez. Okay. I am going in circles. We owe you one for defending the jail. What do you got for me, man? Deputy, uh, I need to ask you something. You ever heard of a fella by the name of Feeney? Nope. He was a pharmacist in town. A lot of people looked up to him. Thought he was a pillar of the community, but, uh, truth is he was nothing but a dope pusher. Feeney's with the cult now. Helped him create this bliss. Word is, he's up at Jessup Conservatory. It was a beautiful atrium back before... Well, before. Now Feeney's using it to grow his poison. Nothing but fields of those 
awful flowers. So I was thinking, if you happen to head over there and burn them flowers, well, I bet Feeney'd come running over in a panic. Yeah, right. Thanks for what Sins of the Father reach Jessup's conservatory. Oh yeah, we're doing as much as we can to uh, so fuck with their operations here. All right. Oh, well, that's way over there. It's an actual outpost to worry about. All right. Well, I will do that after this particular mission. That's a thousand meters away. I'm gonna bring. Hmm. Let's air travel. <laughs> We're gonna airdrop above the highest point in the map, so we just get maximum distance. Okay. Well, that's actually pretty far. A thousand meters away. Can we go fast enough to reach over there? We got a good distance to travel, but we also have a lot of height. So this should be fine. <sighs> you know, these people, are gonna, they're gonna talk up a lot of game. They keep talking a lot of game and trying to convince us to see their point of view. And I see it. I understand what they're saying. Because it's all usually, it's, it's, it's basic villain shit. We've, we've seen, we've heard all of these things before in so many different types of media. Uh... So, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, we're doing this again. <laughs> you know? Um... I've been spotted in the air when I am very far above it. That means whatever spotted me is probably in the air. I cannot handle... I cannot handle an airplane in a wingsuit. Although it'd be pretty cool if it could. Oh boy. Target in sight. Locate Adelaide Shopper from the lookout point. Oh hey, hey guys. I want them to bring when you a point that, that I can treasure. super agree with. Wait till he lands, my baby tulip. Then rip that son of a bitch's pecker off and bring my sweet tulip home. Don't hurt my darling chopper. All right, don't hurt the chopper. I get you. Oh, he's going over there. Yeah, okay. Shots to the face. Good cheeseburger. <laughs> Can I pet the cougar? Hey, Peaches. Come here, Peaches. Here you go, Peaches. Oh. Oh. Alright, that's that's the maximum limit of times we can pet peaches without getting mauled. We gotta watch out. Alright. Return tulip to the marina. Oh, we gotta watch out for the health. Yeah, all right. I'm down. Is there anything along the way that I feel like destroying? There's this one shrine that we know of along the way. But are we going to get attacked by other enemies? Uh-oh. It said I was at zero of everything, so I did the flare thing, and, well, we actually have 
we actually had flares. Huh. I haven't been attacked by anything in the air, so it kind of works out. It works. We're, we're, we're golden. Hey, you know, they say don't fire into the random places because you might end up hurting someone, but I think anyone who's over there, probably a cult member. Okay, obviously I gotta get around to this side to blow it up. Stabilized and destroyed! <laughs> Rookie, it's Tracy. I see you found those shrines Faith built. They're all along that pilgrimage they got going on. And they all have some fucking Peggies gathered around jerking it to Joseph. You wanna twist the knife on them? Blast the rest of those shrines to powder. Yeah, uh, maybe eventually. 16 of them though, so... Probably being real here, being honest, unless you mark every single one on the map, not gonna care. Not gonna go for them. Don't care. <laughs> Those goddamn Peggies have come back like shingles! Hope you got my tulip post, cause we need help, honey! Whoa, hold up, we got drug truck. Come on, come on, we gotta re reload a little bit. Usually vehicles get fucked up by my helicopters, there we go. Jeez. Land, land the tulip. No, we gotta, we gotta help out here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, reloading and dead. There you go. Assistance has been provided. Wait. Herc Jr. All right. I gotta make sure Herc is nearby. Herc! I'm coming as fast as I can. Herc! I'm, I'm running. I'm running as fast as I can. Herc, I need you right here, inside the chopper. So that way, when we return the chopper to your mama, she can be happy! Is there an enemy who's being annoying? Because I can't talk to her right now. Oh, What's going on? Oh, no, that's not an enemy. <laughs> What's going on here? Who's pissing everybody off? <laughs> Someone over here? Right. I didn't think those assholes would come back so soon. I don't know what was pissing everybody off. Well, slap my tits and call me Shirley. You made it just in time for all the fun. And you brought Tulip back in one piece. Now, I always keep my word. So, if you need a pilot who can shoot the dick off a gopher from 50 feet in the air, I'm your gal. You call me anytime. Except around sunset. Xander likes to do yoga around then, and I like to watch. You ain't lived until you've seen that ass and downward-facing dog. What? Anyways, thanks again, hon. I owe ya. Oh, jeez. Okay, she didn't talk about Herc. That makes me sad. But I guess if I had both I Herc and her in my party at the same time, we'd get some funny dialogue. Good with a gun, and she'll always bring that chopper along with her. 
Not a bad addition to the group, deputy. Yeah. The game said that she'd bring the chopper to me. And I'm always excited about that kind of prospect. Let's you and me have a powwow. Hey, probably not in that order. Alright, why are we doing a powwow? Can you believe what they're doing? Bliss is spewing everywhere. It's toxic shit that those Eden's gay bros are shipping everywhere, man. That stuff gets in the river and it's a toxicity tonic. See those big green containers? They're full of bliss, and the Peggies are shipping them somewhere important. We need to find where and destroy them. My life coach says to break problems into bite-sized pieces. So step one. I know about a Peggy laptop that'll help us track down these containers. Once we find them, we blast them. Whoop! Okay, that was not a kablawi, but understandable. Reach the gas Come station. On, well, I mean, if I'm gonna be running around in a chopper... We might as well. Ooh, we're not trying to sabotage our... our dear chopper. Although, it won't let me fly this. Alright. We're locked out. We're locked out of the system. I really wish that there was a dedicated area for animal skin, so I could just hit this quick sell button. But no, we have all of these things here, and I'm afraid to sell them. Because what if the shit disappears? They probably don't. They're probably added to your map permanently. But I have no idea. I have no idea. And by the time that people will be like, ah, God, don't worry about it, it might be too late. Alright, so what's the region looking like? We have pretty much halfway to go until Faith is ready to trigger her devious plan, which will probably be just to have the guy betray us. Annoying, but fine. Burke is gonna do something and we're gonna have to be on the other side watching him be crazy. And then we'll be we'll be we'll be a little ashamed. I'm gonna stay out of the air. If there's an airplane watching over us, and I get an airplane that can't- or a helicopter that can't fire back, probably a bad idea. Alright, I don't even need you here anymore, man. Just a dude on the rooftop. Unexpected problems here. Have a remote detonator. Uh, okay, Peaches is right there, so I can't actually use it right now. Yeah, okay. Dude, Peaches is fucking shit up. God damn. Meanwhile, at the bear. Alright, bear. Go avenge peaches! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, they're getting their kills. Alright, so how do I hack this laptop? I obviously probably just hold E on it. Uh-huh, I figured I'd have to do something like that. We gotta hold the line for a minute and a half. Any more enemies? Cause, uh... Still have to hack. 
Oh, here they come. Just fuck him up. I'm doing it. How are your kills, guys? Peaches is at eight. Cheeseburgers at ten. Think he has to get? Oh, he's got. He's got what he needs. Okay. So now we'll swap out Peaches with Adelaide. Nice. I would have no problem with Faith if she played fair. There is plenty of dick to go around, but instead she's drugging all the men. I can't compete with that. What? What does that even mean, lady? I thought she was a wholesome gal. But she might not be a wholesome gal. Now we can track those boats. First thing, dude, you need to take to the skies and follow that signal. They got a helipad right near that gas station. Go snag what's there and get that eagle's eye view. Oh my god, I can grapple into her helicopter. Hey there! I'll do it. So, uh, Watch your back, honey. I was hoping I could fly the chopper, because it said that she brings a chopper to us. We'll provide air support and deliver a helicopter. I want to have a helicopter delivered to me. But, uh... How about we just go back? Roger. Apparently there's a helicopter spawn thing right over there anyways. You know the deal. We gotta bring out the big guns. We can also let Adelaide get kills, but we're not worried about that. Now hold on. Okay. Let's go. Let's go fuck some shit up. We got ourselves a convoy. Or, well, more like a fleet. If I brought in Nick Rye, we could do a whole lot. But... I think we're fine. You know what? No, fuck it. Fuck it. Nick Rye. 